What's up everyone, I'm Jonathan Dormish from IGN and I'm here with Lily Zaldivar and today we're talking about the Mario Brothers animated movie. Yeah, that's right, after months of speculation, Nintendo and Illumination Entertainment are actually gonna make an animated major Mario movie and this is huge news, Lily, right? Yeah, I think uh, Illumination Entertainment is probably the best studio to okay. take on the role of making a Mario movie. Yeah. Um, a lot of people might disregard them because of you know minions and how um, they're not really like interesting or they're kind of like overplayed. Sure, people but, lean into just minions being minions, not the movies themselves. Yes, but yeah. if you think about Despicable Me, uh, that was such good quality, like I yeah. thought it was a good quality film. Sure, yeah. So I think that um, people shouldn't disregard Illumination Entertainment. Absolutely, and this is a huge deal because Nintendo really hasn't been in the movie making business with its properties ever since the live action Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. That has scared them off for decades of actually making a movie. I think it not only scared off um, Nintendo, but it also scared off fans yeah. on any um, like live action video game ever coming to like the big screen. Totally. But I honestly think that um, we did the same thing with Ubisoft and Mario and Rabbids, yes. where we completely yeah. disregarded the game because we were like, oh, Rabbids is like overplayed and they're annoying. They're the minions of games. Yes, for a lot of but. That game is critically acclaimed. It's, it's a great so RPG, it's and one um, of my favorite I think a lot of people felt like because Shigeru Miyamoto is a part of it, um, and he like endorsed it and showed up during the Ubisoft conference, that yes. was like a solidified. He he signed it. He like it proved it. Yeah. And that was um, pretty much like. That was such a vote of confidence. Done deal. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. many people, I think, in that moment when they saw the gameplay and saw that this was not just a Ubisoft game that put Mario into it, but it was a true collaboration. It captured the spirit of Mario, but also of the Rabbids, and kind of made them both mesh in a way that I think no one expected. Yeah, and I think that because Shigeru Miyamoto is co-producing, yes, um, he will have a big creative hand at making yeah. sure that his characters, you know, Mario and Luigi, are you know, shown in a good light, that yeah. they're not overstepping any boundaries. Like, obviously, Ubisoft had the liberty with guns and, you know, all of their crazy weapons. It's a little different from the Mario A, a little, bit, little bit, but, you know, I think if they have Shigeru Miyamoto's faith, if they have his seal of approval. There's a lot of things that in animation you can do that the live action, like live actions can't do. Totally. Yeah. And I, I love the idea of, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be sort of an illumination fronted film. Like they're gonna be animating and they're yes. gonna be producing. We don't know sort of the creative team. We know the head of illumination and Miyamoto are producers. They're listed yeah. as producers on this project. Yeah. So they will presumably be shepherding it along, but there will be a director and a writer and an animation team actually. Yeah, involved. but the people who get hired for those things yes. is through Shigeru Miyamoto and yeah. the CEO of illumination entertainment. They'll have to sign off on yes. that. Yes. Yeah, and so. it's, it'll be exciting to see. I have a feeling he'll probably be a little more hands on than coming in and being like, make sure his head is still red and then walking away. I think he'll probably <laughs> He'll probably be a little more involved. He'll touch on it, but you yeah. know, I think that's why the CEO of, of Illumination is a part of it because yes. while Shigeru Miyamoto will be away from the studio, yeah. someone else will be able to take care of all of the day to day. Totally, and it's nice to see the two senses. Like, obviously, Nintendo has a lot of experience with Mario and in gaming and animating him in that space and yeah. telling those types of stories, but Illumination has the experience with animated film yeah. storytelling, and that's sort of a unique ability that's not afforded necessarily in telling a long 10 hour story game yeah. narrative. Yeah, I just hope that um, because, you know, this will be an animated film, that people won't really worry about it as much like compared to live action. I mean, we've all been burned by Silent Hill, we've been burned by Assassin's Creed, we've been burned by Prince of Persia. What? No. Yes. Bad video game adaptation movies? <laughs> Lily, you're crazy. Oh my god. I mean, just think about Super Mario Bros. the movie in 1993. God, that was such a stellar Oscar-worthy oh, film. Oh yes, yes. It's, oh, it's, been, it's been The amazing. Goombas. <laughs> the Goombas, I, I try not to think about them. It's, it's amazing how rough it has been for video game adaptations throughout time. And that film in particular like that shook Nintendo for years where like there were interviews with Reggie, even Reggie fils even a year ago or two, mm -hmm. where they would talk about, well, are you, would you think about branching into film or into television? And they would say, you know, we're exploring all our options, but remember what happened with that movie? And it's yeah. like, that was decades ago. You gotta be able to move on. And it looks like they finally are. Yeah, and I'm hoping that because Nintendo is moving on, that yes. you know, audience members can also move on as well. Yes. And yeah. give this movie a chance. Like, yeah. we don't know anything about it, but no. a lot of people are already speculating, like trying to burn it to the ground. And it's like, just give it a chance. Like. You know, we don't know who's directing it yet. We don't even know who's going to voice Mario. It might be, you know, our iconic Mario voice from decades. Might be decades. Charles Martinet. Or yes. Could be someone else. Yeah, I maybe it's Danny DeVito. Uh, 
I'm gonna veto that. Uh, that was a terrible pun. I'm really nice. sorry. Nice, good job. No, don't don't congratulate that. But I, what I am excited about that they are doing animated because that really affords you a lot of opportunity yeah. to take chances and take risks and make it very imaginative in a way that live action may hold you back with the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I wouldn't want to see the Mushroom Kingdom in visual effects, honestly. Yeah. I think that would be too much for them to handle and it would yeah. be unrealistic and would just take you out of the movie completely. The uncanny valley there would kind of be a little bit disconcerting. Now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's a lot of potential for this. Obviously, we'll have to see what the full creative team looks like and what the actual story ends up being. Yeah. This is sort of the first time we'll see sort of an hour and a half to two hour contained Mario narrative. Yeah. And that's really interesting, but there's so much to pull from. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be interesting to see what they do. Yeah. So yeah. it might be Super Mario Odyssey, the movie, not the game. Yes. No, you no, never know. That's a perfect title for that film. <laughs> uh, but whatever it ends up being, you can be sure to stick to IGN for all of the news about that movie, not the game. If it's not also <laughs> a game, it could also be a game, who knows. Uh, but make sure to stick to IGN for all of your Nintendo Mario news. Thank you, Lily, so much for joining yeah, me. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah. This has been great. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>